So for the Canon EOS M5, one of the most remarkable things is that the autofocus has improved tremendously and you can use it to do sports photography, panning shots and also together with the new Digic 7, the image quality and also the ISO control is excellent. What I like most about the Canon M3 is that it's very light, it's very versatile. I don't have to carry huge equipment about if I just want to take nice photos. Even though it's small and light, it's still able to take very, very nice pictures. So I like that. The cool thing about the, um, uh, the M series of cameras, especially the M3 and the M5, is that you have the features of a DSLR uh, in a really, really, really compact body. And it's super light. Yeah, uh, and it's much better than, you know, lugging around your standard full frame or, um, you know, your ATD around. Uh, you don't have to do that anymore. You just gotta keep this guy in your pocket. You can detach your lenses. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, for starters, I really like the very small form factor of this camera. I like the tilt screen. It's very easy to take photos when you're pointing upwards or you're pointing downwards at the pavement without you having to adjust your head around. And I also like the Wi-Fi functionality so that I can easily transfer photos directly to my phone or my tablet so that I can review it on a larger screen. If you're considering a camera body that's smaller, it's lighter, and at the same time still provide you with very good image quality comparable to uh, DSR full-frame cameras, okay, you might want to consider the EOS M5.